Patrick is crossing guard. Mother of mercy! Patrick, everyone is running away from me. I just don't get it. Oh. I don't either. Y'all smell that? Oh. Well, this one's for you. Well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. What's good, everyone? I'm Sweet T, and welcome back to another episode of For You TV, where we talk about all those little things that get underneath of your skin. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell too. Oh, and while you're at it, you know, why not drop a like? Leave a comment, you know, share the love. It's good for you, it's good for the channel. It's a win-win. Go on and be a trendsetter. Now that all the business is taken care of, we gotta talk. Can someone explain to me how this works? You wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. You yawn, you stretch, you go to the bathroom, you come on back, you start to get ready for the day, and then you go head on out to work or something like that, right? At what point did you decide to neglect brushing your damn teeth? I, I just, I, I just need to know. And what baffles my mind about this is that you go through the whole day like that. Won't you know gum, won't pop a mint in your mouth, won't swallow a drop of mouthwash, nothing. Now, I get that you might not smell your breath at first. You might go through your whole day not talking to anybody, so you weren't afforded the opportunity of being told that your breath is kicking. We've all been there. But when you go outside or to a public building and you gotta, you gotta pull your mask up because, you know, Dorona, you don't smell that then? Like, it don't cling to your fabrics like Febreze? I'm surprised there's no streaks like the ones left in your drawers, cause it sure enough smell the same if you catch what I'm saying. Even if you don't smell that right away, at what point do your senses start to blend? Like, like you don't taste that? Like when fresh air hits your mouth, you don't get a city dump going down your throat? You don't go and think to yourself, hmm. Something's wrong here. Like this is just normal to you. And before y'all start coming for me in the comments section, talk about some, oh, three teeth, those people can't help the fact that they have bad breath. Hush your mouth, cause y'all some of the people I'm talking about. I know that there are some people out there who have an actual health condition that deals with bad breath. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that can light up a room before they get to it. I'm talking about the ones that we all know are coming because we can see the plants wilting outside. I'm talking about the ones who can yawn and silence dogs. Breath so bad you go to eat something and you change the flavors of the meal mid-chew. Them poor taste buds probably be in there like... <laughs> and it's not just the folks with bad breath that confuddles me. Some of y'all walk out your house with that same dirt cloud that you woke up in. Some of y'all a little unsure. Some of y'all can't keep a secret. Some of y'all got your degree in funk. What I don't get is how you don't get a whiff of yourself at any moment during the day. Like, like you don't move at all. The wind don't blow at all. And again, I ask, at what point do the senses start to blend? Like. Like you don't feel that? That sweat build up under your arms? That dirt or film all on your skin? That gook betwixt your... Like, like you don't feel that? And some of y'all walk around here smelling like a bed of roses. And your friend friend is walking around here smelling like the fertilizer you put on top. And you won't say nothing to them! Y'all not really friends. Mm -mm. Why for you do that? Are you scared you're gonna hurt their feelings or something? Cause I'm pretty sure they would much rather have their feelings hurt by you, a loved one, than by some strange person on the street. You know there's a saying for this, right? If you sit in too long, it stops smelling. I need you to come on up out of that, okay? So you can stop being offensive and cussing us out with your body language. Better yet, I would do you a favor. If you are that person who's afraid to tell their friend friend that they have a sensual problem, go on and get them and I'll do it for you. No, it's all right. I'm going to be nice with it. Just go on and get them. Go on and get them. You ready? Okay. Here we go. Hey, baby. How you doing? You doing okay today? That's good. That's good. That's good. I bet you wonder why your friend friend brought you in here right now. Well, well. I got something to talk to you about, okay? You see, your friend friend cares a little bit too much about you and they, and they don't want to hurt your feelings. So they ask me for some help, all right? Your friend friend thinks that, well, knows that you 
need a bubble bath. Now hold on, hold on now, wait, wait, don't get mad and don't get mad at them, okay? They didn't know how to tell you that your breath smelled like spoiled raw chicken on a hot summer day, so they asked me for some help, that's all, that's all. Look, I, I know that you might be feeling a little bit embarrassed right now because your multi-talented armpits are going unappreciated. And by that, I mean that they can literally hum an opera and cook chitlins at the same time. N not everybody's going to appreciate that kind of talent, okay? Now, now, don't be ashamed. It's just you, me, and your friend friend, all right? Nobody else has to know about this. Although they might because they heard your breath was practicing karate down the hall. But it's all right. It's all right. We can get past this, okay? Now, I want you to do this for me, all right? Now, if your eyes started burning, that's not normal, baby, okay? I'm going to give you this hotline that I want you to call. 1-800-DAMN! And they're going to send you out a little kit. And it's got some soap, some mouthwash, some deodorant, a little bit, a little bit of toothpaste, some baby powder, all that stuff within 24 hours, absolutely free. All right? We got you. We love you. We do. We just don't want you to keep destroying the ozone layer quite like this. All right? Do better, baby. All right now. If you like this video, then please do all that same stuff that all the other YouTubers ask you to do. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And hey, if you have a topic, a pet peeve, or just a little ism that just gets underneath of your skin and you want me to talk about it here, why don't you go on and leave it in that comment section down below and I might do just that. All right? Well, my name is Sweet Tea, it's been real, and I hope that you have a flavorful day. Now, I get that you might not know that your breath smells at first. You might not talk to anybody all day, and you might not have been a fool. Why is every car driving down this block today at the same time? Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm surprised your breath don't leave no streaks just like the ones that's left in your drawers. Does it still smell the same? <laughs> Why is that the thing I did? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, one day I'm gonna have a whole clip of just me going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Like when you open your mouth to get some fresh air, you don't taste a city dump going down your throat. Say that five times fast. City dump going, city dump going down your throat. City dump going down your throat. City dump going down your throat.